Hey, we, I just got here. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Well, you a boss, though. What What's up, man? man? It's the it's style it's pop. Happy birthday, Tim. Thank you, you guys. I'm not going to put any graphics up hey, man, on this video. Came. But, um. All, all of all them yeah, ass chicks out there the I party. went to Putacana, man, Look, and I almost it. died. This is my fake happy birthday cake. Happy birthday! No, seriously. I went to the Dominican Republic, and I almost died. <laughs> I'll tell you why toward the end of this video. And how, but we're going to talk about the Breathless Resort in Putacana. Now, I've been to... The other ones before, and uh, I went to one, not the other ones, I went to one in, uh, in Cancun. Man, that one was freaking awesome. Of, of the two I've been to out of this one, if you debate on which one to go to, I would go to the one, not in Cabo, but the one in Cancun. Hands down, way better than this one. Uh, this one right here probably gets, to me, about eight stars out of 10, the one over in Cancun is 10 out of 10, easy. Uh, I went, it's very, very important for you. If you go to the one in Putacana, man, make sure you book your trip. Get there early Thursday through Monday at least. Don't go there during the weekend, miss the weekend, because the weekend is totally better. I went there for Friday through like Tuesday or something. I came back on Tuesday. Um, four nights. Right now, people, a lot of people are scared to go there. Go, <laughs> we're scared to go to DR, so it's a lot cheaper. Um, so if you're looking at this video and you think about going on vacation, man, I mean, go check it out, man. Go to these third party sites, or you just go to Breathless Resort and see what they're gonna give you. But anyway, let's talk about what's going on right here. So, the video from earlier, uh, a couple of clips back, was me and this jacuzzi. Now, this is my first night, this is Friday night. I got a bunch of shows and stuff that I ain't really uh, pay attention to or know about. There's a bunch of stuff going on in the resort that you ain't gonna be able to keep up with, man, um, unless you really, really trying to. So what everybody does, they hang out, they party during the day, go back home, take over now, change. Then we get, people get dressed up, then they go eat, then they go back to the room or they go to the to the main bar area, drink a little bit, and then they go to the club. They have a club there. It's a little small club. It's more than enough room uh, with a patio area and all that. What I did right here, I went to eat, and then I went out to the beach late night. I hung out for a second in between, um, took a couple of shots over there. You know, this is all inclusive too. So, and this is at the club. Was, uh, I met a good group of uh, uh, um, young people, young professionals out there, and they were having a good time, man. We were just hanging out and kicking it. Um, nothing major. I was kind of doing my own thing the whole time, though, just minding my own business um, for the most part, trying to stay out of the way, trying to stay alive. Alright, that's the first night. I was a little tired, so I went to sleep and I woke up late the next day, so I got a late start. I probably start moving around around like 3 p.m. Um, because I was still tired from the flight. That's what the resort kind of looks like from my room. That's the main pool right there. They got the little uh, walk-up pool right there. At, at the Cancun resort, you can swim directly up to the door of someone's room on the first floor. With this one you gotta kinda walk out a little bit. You know, and I was on the second floor. Well, yeah, man. And now, where am I going? Oh, yeah, I went out to the beach that day. I went and got some breakfast or some lunch or whatever real quick. I skipped that part, didn't put that on here. Went and got some lunch, and then I went straight out to the beach. The beach area is real nice, too, there at Breathless, man. Um, you know they're going to have people walking the beach trying to get you to buy stuff. Just ignore it if you ain't really into that. Keep in mind, they got a guy with flamingos or whatever, birds parakeets or whatever the hell they are and uh monkeys man if you take a if you get if you let them take a picture of you with the bird they're gonna be like thirty dollars you know even if it's with your phone they ain't got no professional camera they know they don't need that so if you out there on the beach watch yourself all right so i went out to the beach it's a, a hotel another hotel connected to our our resort but um really fun turn up resort so everybody from that hotel came over to ours their resort came over to ours and both of them are included together and this is the pool area right here and they set up bars i mean they set up a uh, table service and all that stuff so i went to the pool for a second i forgot to record that oh well and then um i went back to my room got dressed to go get some dinner man you know 
uh, at that time, they didn't have it. I don't think they had anything going on on the main stage where they do the performance, where they were setting up the lights, you know. And then I went to, uh, I went to the hibachi spot that they have on the resort. Um, and I'm tell you guys this, I'll be 100% honest with you, okay? Now, that's, I don't, I've never, other than Breathless Resorts, I haven't been to any other resorts, but I'm used to like, when I go out to eat and stuff, I eat like, you know, like really, really good stuff. I, you know, I'm, I expect a lot out of restaurants. And uh, the restaurants here, just think of it like, it's not cafeteria food, but it's like going to a B-grade Chili's. You know, it's like, all right, it's good enough. It's it's better than it's better than good. If that makes sense. It's better than enough. Um, it's not bad. And you can, you know, depend on what you order, the better it's gonna be. So right now they having like a party. They got a live band right here. I'm just hanging out, people dancing. You know, they two stepping and all that, moving around. And uh, then this is me in the club later. So that that group, of, I don't know what this girl was doing, but she was dressed up. You used to go back to the club, you see her standing in front of me, then all of a sudden you went to the club, she changed her clothes to, <laughs> to go right, to go get on the pole. I don't know what that was about. But this is the club, man. Um, it's not gonna get packed. But I mean they play a good mixture of music, fist pumping music to hip hop to how they try to mix it in with the EDM and all that goofy stuff. Yeah, we were just in there hanging out, having a good time, man. It's more than worth it. And the drinks are free all night. All right, this is uh, next month. I think this is like day three. You know, go out to the patio, take in the sun, and sweet baby Jesus, and, and bless the drinking guys and make sure I'm all right. All right, then I went out to the beach that day. Again, watching people play volleyball and all that shit, man. The beach is really quiet, honestly, man. So one thing, if you do go to Breathless Pusa County, man, you got to make sure that you take in the beach because most people, so much stuff going on in there, you just get caught up in swimming in the pools the whole time. All right, this is me. They have a swim-up uh, bar, and I'm hanging out at the bar, sitting down at the joint, and um, the people next to me had a hookah or whatever. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that cigar, and we're taking shots right here. Turn it up. Turn it all the way up. Let's go! She got me. Man, Parriba! 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 Spanish. I don't know if it means love, live, life, or whatever, but hey, guys, listen. I almost died in Putacana of fun. Ain't nobody gonna bother you out there, man. Just don't do something that you know you shouldn't be doing out there, dog. And I'll see you later. Part two coming soon.